Hello everyone, welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. So in this video, ay magsosolve po tayo ng isang motion word problem. Always remember that when you are reviewing online, never memorize the given problem, but familiarize how it is being solved. Because in the first place, hindi naman po talaga natin malalaman o mahuhulaan kung ano talaga yung lalabas sa aktual na examination. That is why po I highly suggest not to memorize the given problem but to familiarize how it is being solved. Okay, sige. Without any kuskus balungos, magsimula na po tayong mag-solve ng ating given problem. A car traveled at a speed of 60 miles per hour for 2 hours and then it increased its speed to 80 miles per hour for the remaining distance of 120 miles. What was the total time it took for the car to complete the journey? And what was its average speed? To solve the problem, we will use the formula D is equal to S times T, where D stands for distance, S stands for speed, and T stands for time. Before going through the solutions, first is to comprehend or understand the question. Ang sabi sa tanong, a car traveled at a speed of 60 miles per hour sa loob ng dalawang oras. Ibig sabihin yung lakas o yung lakas ng takbo ng sasagyan is 60 miles per hour sa loob ng dalawang oras. Since given po yung speed at yung uh, time sa problem, that means hahanapin natin yung distance traveled by a car. Okay, so to calculate for the distance, we have to substitute the given speed and time sa ating formula. So now, we have D is equal to 60 miles per hour multiplied by 2 hours. So, we have 60 multiplied by 2 and that is equal to 120. Then, M over H multiplied by H. That means we have to cancel out yung H or yung hours. At matitira na lang yung M or miles. It means our distance is equal to 120 miles. May magtatanong, sir, bakit kinancel out mo yung H? Because if we are going to multiply a fractional form to a whole number, di ba parang ganito lang siya, halimbawa, uh, 5 over 2 multiplied by 2. Di ba ang gagawin mo is multiply mo tong 2 sa numerator divided by denominator. So para ka na lang din nag-cancel out ng 2, di ba? So that means equal to 5. So parang dito rin sa example natin which is m over h multiplied by h. Ibig sabihin nito, m times h and that is mh over h or parang i-cancel out mo na lang yung h at matitira na lang yung m. Now let's go back to our problem. Since the distance is 120 miles, ibig sabihin nito, ito yung kanyang naabot sa loob ng dalawang oras for a speed of 60 miles per hour, yung takbo, yung bilis ng takbo. Since nakuha na natin yung distance traveled by the car for the first 2 hours, at sabi pa dito, and then it increased its speed to 80 miles per hour for the remaining distance of 120 miles. So, ibig sabihin pala nito, bumilis yung takbo ng sasakyan ng 80 miles per hour for the remaining distance of 120 miles. Since dito sa pangalawang sentence, given yung speed at yung distance traveled by a car which is 120 miles, ibig sabihin nito, hahanapin naman natin yung time traveled by a car. To find the time traveled, we need to derive this formula. So, we have to multiply 1 over S both sides. Ang tanong, bakit po tayo nag-multiply ng 1 over S both sides? Para makancel out yung S dito at madidivide na siya dito sa D. At ang matitira na lang dito is yung T or time. Kasi ito po yung hinahanap natin which is yung time traveled by a car. So, ang gagawin naman po natin ngayon is to substitute the given distance traveled by a car at yung speed niya, which is 80 miles per hour. So now, we have T equal to 120 miles divided by 80 miles per hour. And now, let's divide both numerator and denominator by 40, which is 40 kasi yung GCD or greatest common denominator. So, 120 divided by 40, and that is equal to 3. Then, 80 divided by 40, and that is equal to 2. That means the time traveled by a car for the next 120 miles is 3 over 2, 
or three halves. Ibig sabihin pala nito, for the first 120 miles na tinravel ng sasakyan, it took 2 hours sa bilis na 60 miles per hour. Then, for the next 120 miles, since na bumilis yung takbo ng sasakyan from 60 miles per hour, naging 80 miles per hour na siya. So, ibig sabihin nito, mas mababa yung time traveled kasi kapag bibilis kasi yung takbo ng sasakyan, mas bumababa yung time na itatravel niya. At dito po sa nasolve natin, T is equal to 3 halves hours or just 1.5 hours since 3 divided by 2 and that is equal to 1.5. Now, we are asked to find the total time it took for the car to complete the journey and what was its average speed. Since we are asked for the total time, ibig sabihin ia-add lang po natin itong 2 hours at saka itong 1.5 hours kasi yung total time daw na tinravel ng sasakyan for the whole duration or for the whole journey. So, ibig sabihin pala nito, it took for the car to travel 3.5 hours to complete the journey. Now, may isa pang tanong, ano daw yung average speed? So, ang gagawin po natin ngayon is to add up or sum up the first 120 miles at saka yung second 120 miles traveled by a car. So, ang ibig sabihin pala nito, the car traveled for a total of 240 miles to complete the whole journey. At ngayon naman po, ang gagawin natin is i-divide natin itong 240 miles by the total time took for the car to travel. That only means 240 miles divided by 3.5 hours. Para mas madali po nating ma-solve, we will convert this decimal form into its fractional form. Ang 3.5 po is just 7 over 2, since 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. Tama? Now, we have 240 divided by 7 over 2. Now, kapag mag-divide po tayo ng fraction, ang gagawin po natin is multiply na po natin pero reciprocal na po nito. Ibig sabihin yung kabaliktaran, ibabaliktad po natin ng pwesto, yung numerator at saka denominator. So, ibig sabihin nito, 240 multiplied by 2 over 7 kasi babaliktarin na natin yung fraction kasi nag-divide tayo ng fraction, di ba? So, 240 multiplied by 2. And that is equal to 480. 480 divided by 7. So, let's first divide 480 by 7. So, 48 divided by 7. And that is equal to 6. 6 times 7. And that is equal to 42. 48 minus 42. And that is equal to 6. Bring down 0. 60 divided by 7. And that is equal to 8. 8 times 7. And that is 56. 60 minus 56, and that is equal to 4. Bring down 0 again. 40 divided by 7, and that is equal to 5. 5 times 7, and that is equal to 35. 40 minus 35, and that is equal to 5. Bring down 0 again. 50 divided by 7, and that is equal to 7. 7 times 7, and that is equal to 49. 50 minus 49, and that is equal to 1. So, hanggang dito na lang, hindi na natin ipagpapatuloy. Therefore, the average speed of the car during the entire journey was 68.57 miles per hour. And that's all for this video. I hope you've learned so far. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.